All right, everyone. Hi, I'm back. Let's continue on. We've got got like what about half an hour of stream left. So let's see how far into chapter five we get. I gotta be really careful, y'all, because like I just barely noticed that this chapter five bumper at the top right here. Like I easily could have missed that. So um, if anybody happens to notice. If I get to, like, the start of a new chapter, feel free to point it out to me. Like, absolutely do that, because I can very easily miss these things. So, anyway. Alrighty, let's carry on, shall we? Pickle Inspector returns to the material plane. The office is flooded. The outlet's electricity is shorted out. Next. Water spills into the small elf chamber. Oh no, is the elf going to drown? Is this the end of our elf? Next. One of the elves playing poker waves at you. He seems to beckon for you to join them. <laughs> P.I. Forget the degenerate gamblers and save the drowning elf. <laughs> yes. Let's save the drowning elf, shall we? It is too late for him. There is nothing you can do. Oh no. <laughs> the poor elf. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh, thanks for catnip. Yes, I do have more space for water now. <laughs> All right. It's too late for him. There's nothing you can do. P.I. Stick hairpin and outlet. Why? That sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> this would be a horrible idea, even under the best of circumstances. You pick up the hairpin anyway. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Problem sooth. Go retrieve unpleasant note from dumbwaiter room. Yeah, that's a good point, Egwene. Like, how many accidental murders have there been so far? Like, at least four. Like, each each one of them has, like, accidentally murdered somebody outside of their room. And now, that elf has drowned. <laughs> Is that... I don't know if, like, technically that counts as an accidental murder, but let's count it anyway, because it's fun. Accidental murder. I don't feel great about that. <laughs> Let's carry on. Um, that's true. The elf is also outside PI's door. Re-recursive. I was actually just thinking about that, but I didn't say it out loud. It's like, people outside their doors keep dying. Even their, like, even their imaginary selves keep dying. Not necessarily outside their doors, but at various points, their imaginary selves do hang out outside of their doors, and then later they die. So, the... The lesson here, I believe, is do not hang out outside of these people's office doors. Just don't do it. If you hang out outside a detective office door, you will die. <laughs> Never do that. That is the moral here. Hey, I am Nichols. Well, if it isn't Brennamania, if it isn't Brennamania, then I don't know who it is, honestly. Like, who am I? What am I? I don't know. I'm an old man. That's what I am. An old man, see? Meh. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, what was I doing? I was reading Problem Sleuth. That's right. <laughs> Go retrieve unpleasant note from Dumbwaiter Room. It looks like an apology note from Ace Dick, or something approximating an apology. Maybe he wants to bury the hatchet after all these years. The modification is likely on account of your high pulchritude stat. This reminds you, now that Pickle Inspector's safe is closed, you can go read that note again. Problem Sleuth is okay, sort of. <laughs> Problem Sleuth, go look through mural holes. I do such a good Stamper's impression, it's not even funny. Shoot, I should... I should know what Stamper's is, shouldn't I? Remind me what Stampers is. <laughs> Cause like this sounds familiar to me and I'm like completely not remembering what, what it is. Or maybe it's something I don't know, who's to say? Anyway, PS, go look through mural holes. Problem Sleuth is impolite, very rude. Oh, there's the star heart horseshoe thing. Sure enough, there is the note. You can now remember the sequence star heart horseshoe. 
You hear the safe opening from the other side. Oh, okay. Um, so actually, Spicy Pickle, let me let me do this. Let me refund your points back, and then if you want to... So I just refunded your points back for the uh, reaction video, Spicy Pickle. So if you want to, like, redo the request with a different video, uh, go ahead and do that. There's a wolf below me. Oh, dear. There is a wolf below me. <laughs> I better watch out. Hear that, Chara? You're a wolf. Oh, no! No, I knocked down the camera. Oh, what have I done? I'm knocking all the things over. I should just, like, never pet my dog because things will get knocked out. That's not true. <laughs> all right. Sure enough, there's the, the, you hear the safe opening from the other side. Tootsie Roll Frankenstein! Oh no! <laughs> Next. I hope those are Tootsie Rolls. You topple backwards and crush your fort? No! How are we supposed to imagine things now? Damn it, this is no time for shenanigans! Stop the water! <laughs> Alright, got it, Spicy Pickle. Thank you. Stamper is the narrator in the video set. Okay, got it. Got it. Alright, damn it, this is no time for shenanigans. Stop the water! There is no way to turn it off. You will suffer the same fate as that poor elf if you stay much longer. Alright, join the elves. Oh, he goes meh all the time in that game? Gotcha. Cool. I may have. I'm not remembering exactly, but this might be something I'm familiar with. I just don't remember it. Alright, you duck into the elves' lair for sanctuary. They activate the emergency shutter to seal off the room. The elves introduce themselves. Ropo, Zobo, Foco, and Blod, Foco and Blod all sit around a table playing cards while strategizing against a common enemy. The enemy is apparently the... is it like a weasel? Looks like possibly the Weasel King? Who's to say? You are a little nervous. You dip your head politely to your new hosts. Alright, P.I., look underneath table. You spy a small hatch on the floor. Ropo must insist you cease your snooping. Maybe someone with more pulchritude could persuade him to see reason. P.I., threaten elves with hairpin to make them cry. Thank you, Nick. I will hydrate. Ah. Despite your most aggressive showing, the elves remain unmoved. They are obviously emotionally stalwart creatures, totally implacable. Ah, uh, thanks for the encouragement, Nick. Yay, encouragement. Alright. Blod notices a pornographic playing card and has <laughs> slipped into the deck. He begins to cry. Oh no. Hunk Rump? Oh dear. P.I. Collect elf tears. Ooh! Elf tears, yay! You harvest the elf tears in your teacup. Yay, now we have elf tears that we can use for things and stuff. P.I. Plug skylight into power outlet. The small portal lights up. Oh yay, the skylight is working now. Huzzah! That is a really small skylight though, that is tiny. You accidentally drop the hairpin through it. The heavy object shatters the glass. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dial star heart horseshoe on the phone, problem sleuth. <laughs> Yay, elven suffering. <laughs> oh my goodness. Elf tears pretty much do seem like the mana in this universe, heterosapiens. It does, it does seem that way. The face of the phone opens, revealing a hidden chamber. There is a piece of paper inside. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright, let's take the paper. It is sheet music for the song Moonlight Sonata. Oh good, we needed that earlier, didn't we? You place the sheet music in your pocket. Alright, let's go up the chimney, pickle inspector. You enter the speakeasy. Oh, hey, we're here now. 
I'm losing track of like how the building is oriented, but although actually it makes sense that Pickle Inspector can get to the speakeasy from ultimately from his room because Ace Dick and Problem Sleuth both got to rooms beneath the speakeasy, but like couldn't actually quite get to the speakeasy. So so yeah. Oh hey Harpe DM hi yeah. I'm streaming again after all this time. I started back up a few weeks ago, so, uh, so yeah, it's good to see you, Harp. How's it going? Harp DM was one of my very first Homestuck Let's Read live stream viewers, as I recall, <laughs> like years ago, like what three years ago now? I think is when I started it. Yeah, because I finished last year, and it took me two years to finish Homestuck. So yeah, that was like three years ago. Holy cow. Time flies. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. Hope life is good. All right, you enter the speakeasy. Next. You face north. There is another stunning mural on the wall, as well as a mysterious poster behind the bust. Oh, is this the mysterious poster? Is that the Weasel King? P.I. Ride bust like a mechanical bull. Yeah, that's right. So the streams I have going right now, um, so Problem Sleuth right now, obviously, uh, Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm doing Final Fantasy 13, and Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, I've got Celeste going on as well. So, um, And then after I'm done with those games, I'm probably going to be doing One Shot and the Talos Principle in some order. <laughs> I'm not sure which, will, which I'll do first, but we'll see. But yeah, long story short, that's what I'm doing right now. All right. Ride bust like a mechanical bull. Wow, what a fucking waste of time. <laughs> yeah, people have been saying good things about One Shot and also Talos Principle, so I'm really looking forward to playing those games. So, if you all are able to watch, I will be playing those games. All right. Uh, remove obo blocking door remove obo blocking doors at bottom of stairs. <laughs> I accidentally read obo blocking as like one term. <laughs> as in like I thought the doors were blocking the obos, but nope, it's the obo that's blocking the doors. In Soviet Russia, doors block obo. <laughs> Your vim is simply not high enough to dislodge the instrument. It's really stuck. Ah, oh, we need more vim. Why does the person with the least amount of vim have access to the to unlodging the doors. Of course, that's how it would work. It's a puzzle room escape game, ultimately. Oh, are there other Homestuck streamers going as well? That's awesome. That's cool. Alright. Move the bust onto the X. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing, McCatnip. I, I realize that the times I do my gaming streams are, like, in the middle of the night for some people, depending on where they are in the world, so... <laughs> Oh, did I re-read recursive? That's fabulous. There's dozens of them! Dozens! <laughs> oh, there's money in the banana stand. You've got to be kidding! <laughs> oh, of course we can't move the bus onto the X, because like, if we can't even move an obo, how are we going to move a giant bust? Alright, P.I., go through double doors. The doors are barred from the inside. It sounds like there is someone on the other side who will not let you in. You will either need a very high Vim rating to knock down the doors, or a high Pulchritude rating to sweet talk your way in. You sure are proving useless in this room. Oh, hey Gabe, how's it going? Happy Saturday. Yeah, we've gotten through chapters 3 and 4, and we are on chapter 5 right now. we got about, like, 15 minutes or so left of stream, like, whenever we get to a good stopping point. So, um, alright, let's see. Okay, collect deceased Pickle Inspector's items. You are a little disgusted to find a skeleton in your office. You nevertheless rifle through its belongings. <laughs> Wait, deceased Pickle Inspector? What? Hold on. Wait, I missed something here. Sure are proving useless in this room. Ace Dick, collect deceased Pickle Inspector's items. Oh, oh, this is the imaginary, that's right, this is the imaginary pickle inspector who came in through the window and then died. Okay, I was like, how is there a dead pickle inspector? I remember now. 
Yeah, I forgot there are shenanigans with, like, deceased... Deceased versions of themselves. Like, earlier we had half of a... Of a problem sleuth from, like... An alternate way to go previously, so... So, yes. I'm just hydrated again. Thank you, McCatnip. Let's see. You are a little disgusted to find a skeleton in your office. You nevertheless rifle through its belongings. You take the bag of candy corn. The horns are unsettling to you for some reason, so you leave them there. Same with the Pez Uzi, which suddenly just seems plain silly. All right. A stick. Go out window, onto roof, pick up hairpin. Man, it looks like there's like quite a few people doing blind let's reads of Homestuck now, yeah? Based on what y'all are saying. That's cool. Godspeed to all of them. <laughs> like, it takes more than a little while to get through all of Homestuck. <laughs> I don't know if y'all knew this, but Homestuck is long. <laughs> First you wheel the Jawbreaker Cannon off to the side. You pick up the machine gun. A brute like you is easily able to wield the heavy weapon. Alright, AD, pass rope through skylight. Oh, thanks, Spicy Pickle. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Pass rope through skylight. Go to piano, play Moonlight Sonata. Oh, nice. So, so Pickle Inspector now has a rope from Ace Dick. That's cool. <laughs> Nick, imaginary pickle inspector is a term I could have got my whole life without hearing. <laughs> and God, am I glad I heard it. Well, you're welcome, Nick. Anytime. <laughs> Newsflash, everyone. Steiner is back. Important information. All right. Problem Sooth. Go to piano, play Moonlight Sonata. The melody is haunting. No wonder you locked away this music. It is a treasure to the ears. You gotta lock away treasure to keep it safe. Oh, a compartment is revealed, exposing a powerful industrial fan. The fan blows the bust across the room onto the other X. <laughs> what a powerful fan, my goodness. Alright, AD and PS. Swap handgun and Tommy gun through slots. Problem Sleuth passes key through the dumbwaiter slot. A stick passes the ring of keys through his slot too. All right, so now they have different guns. A stick picks up and loads the handgun with handgun bullets. Problem Sleuth picks up and loads the Tommy gun with Tommy gun munitions. Oh my gosh, this is fabulous. <laughs> there are a lot of quotes in this stream, aren't there? <laughs> I like it. All right, tie rope around bust and oboe strung through pulleys. Oh, that's right. They did mention rope and pulleys earlier. That's true. Oh, is this how they're going to remove the oboe? You go back down the chimney and get the rope. Using your unusually high height characteristic, you rig it up to the ceiling pulleys with the other end tied to the stubborn oboe. Hold on. Were there pulleys on the ceiling the whole time and I just didn't notice? There are pulleys on the ceiling. Holy cow. I just straight up either forgot or didn't notice in the first place that those were there. Well... Everything is coming together nicely. A stick. Make candy corn liquor. Yes, because that's useful. Yeah, so Re-Recursive makes a very good point. If you do go watch... If you go watch other Homestuck streamers, um, and they're reading through for the first time, do please make sure that you are not spoiling anything. Um, I know that you all are good about that. And I will say that Homestuck is also, like, so complex and confusing that, like, I think there were people spoiling stuff in chat, but I actually had no idea stuff was being spoiled because I just straight up didn't know what they were talking about. But, um, oh, did you have, so Re-Recursive says, we've had some unfortunate spoilings recently of some big stuff. Yeah. Um, I know y'all are good, so I don't really need to tell you this, but, like, General plea to anybody who is watching this or hearing this right now. If you go see someone reading Homestuck on a stream for the very first time, please avoid spoilers. 
that's just like a general nicety courtesy thing that y'all should do when anyone's doing something for the first time really so anywho yes a message worth repeating the UU reveal is spoiled? Oh no! Oh, that's a shame. That's too bad. <laughs> yes, heterosamians. Homestuck is actually quite linear and simple. Streamers tend to have problems with it because they're distracted by chat. <laughs> yes, of course. As y'all as y'all remember from watching me read it, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. So we've tied the rope, put it through the pulleys. Uh, make candy corn liquor. You feed the candy corn into the still. This should brew something with a real kick to it. It will take a moment. P.S. Fire Tommy gun at target above piano. You riddle the ceiling with bullets in a circular pattern. Is the bus gonna fall through and smash the piano? Next. But nothing seems to happen. That's a... How... How... How unremarkable and anticlimactic. Oh, what were you asking about re-recursive about what was meant to be what was meant to be sarcasm? Cause there there is sarcasm that happens <laughs> in our chat here. Oh, yes, that was yeah, re-recursive, that was definitely meant to be meant to be sarcasm. <laughs> Hetero sapiens is definitely being sarcastic there. <laughs> so don't worry. We we all know. We all understand here the complexity of Homestuck. So don't worry. <laughs> no no one here is actually going to suggest that. Um, let's see. Uh, check progress of candy corn fermentation. Things are really percolating in there. You'd better head for cover fast. You don't want to be anywhere near that thing when it's done. <laughs> oh dear. Go out window and duck for cover. <laughs> oh, Egwain, from personal experience, it only takes about four reads to understand Homestuck. Is that all? Took me one. I'm a liar. <laughs> you shut the safe first, sealing it off tight. An elf pokes his head out the window. You wave, urging him to get his head down. Oh dear, are we about to have a decapitated elf? Is that what's about to happen here? <laughs> Next. So let's see. We can have Ace Dick ride the still like a mechanical bull, or we could just say, no, just stay put and see what happens. Let's ride the still like a mechanical bull. It seems like the best thing to do. This action unsurprisingly results in your death. Go back. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this music accompanying this scene right here, actually. This is mechanical bull riding music right here. All right, anyway, let's go back. All right, no, just stay put and see what happens. <laughs> Rumble. Oh, I like how we can like see all the rooms at once here. Wow, this is set up very interestingly. Boom! Holy cow, it shot like fire through all of this here. Oh my gosh, is this gonna break open the door? The front wall has been obliterated. Your office is now an inferno, but you are free to leave it. Oh, dang. The sprinkler system goes on. You feel the whole building shake. Was that an explosion? You hear a cracking noise from above. Uh-oh. Crack. Thud. The bust falls on the piano. Okay, so that explosion shook, like did the rest of the job with getting the bust to fall through the door here. Oh, and that's going to yoink out the oboe. The oboe is dislodged. AD, drop handgun through skylight. <laughs> so... So you drop the handgun through the skylight. AD, drop your own skull through a skylight. Oh, that's right. There's a there's a dead ace dick there. A dead imaginary ace dick from the like from like the last boss battle. The puzzle has been solved. Teamwork! Yes, problem sooth is over, roll credits, we're done. Oh my gosh. Throwing his skull through the skylight caused all the elves to cry, so they can harvest like a lot of elf tears here. 
AD, check in, check on, check on the candy corn liquor. Parts of the wall and ceiling have collapsed. The path is blocked. Oh no! P.S. See if your office is okay after explosion. Oh no, it looks like the path here is blocked too. So Problem Sleuth can't get back to his office. P.S. Go upstairs. But he can get up here with, uh, with uh, Pickle Inspector. So, allies are united for the first time on the material plane. You eye each other with suspicion. P.I. Go down chimney again, get more tears, and handgun. You dump the liquor out of your teapot and fill it with elf tears. You equip the handgun, a weapon more suited to your physical strength. Okay, so we've harvested a lot of elf tears. That's great. Give some tears to Problem Sleuth. Oh, that's right, because Problem Sleuth has like a lot of elf tear slots. You fill Problem Sleuth's flask with the elf tears. Nice. P.I. Go get candy corn liquor. You collect some of the potent candy corn liquor in your teapot. Oh, that's right. So Ace Dick can't get to the candy corn liquor, but Pickle Inspector can from, from his side of things. Right. A.D. Step outside office. Things are on fire. There are charred corpses here. <laughs> oh my goodness. So Ace Dick could probably dislodge that trombone, right? Except maybe he's too short to do it. You wonder what the fuck happened out here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh goodness. AD, leave the building. The exit is locked. You will need the fabled Megaton key to open the door. Legend has it that only the strongest man on earth may lift this key. Oh man, that is quite a door. Is the end of Problem Sleuth going to be just, like, leaving the building? <laughs> is that what happens? Alright, anyway, AD, displace trombone. Water from the flooded room spills into the hall, dousing the flames. Oh my gosh, I love how that was all set up so that, like, things are on fire, but there's this handy supply of water. Anyway, so I guess he wasn't too short to dislodge, dislodge the trombone, so that's cool. Problem Sleuth, sweet talk your way in through doors. <laughs> Oh, that's right, because Problem Sleuth has a high Pulchritude stat. Using your advanced polit political acumen, you persuade the party on the other side of the door to let you in. I'm going to hydrate thanks to Nema. Ah. The door unlocks. Problem Sleuth and Pickle Inspector, go in. Yes, Harpe Diem, it's basically office stuck. All right, and that's the end of chapter five. We're at the start of chapter six now, and uh, it is almost two o'clock my time, so it's about time for stream to wrap up anyway. So this is, I think, the perfect place to stop for today. Um, before I start saying my goodbyes here, we have another Nepeta to sacrifice. Oh, actually, I have a video to react to as well. So hold on a sec. I forgot, I almost forgot that, uh, Spicy Pickle has been waiting patiently for me to react to a video. Uh, but first, let's uh, take care of this. Sacrifice Nepeta from Hetero Sapiens. Alright. Cool. Well, before I react to this video from Spicy Pickle, let me uh, first mention a couple of things. Da -da -da -da. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Stop that. Uh, let me get this video queued up as well before we go any further. Um, so while I'm getting set up here, folks, uh, first of all, thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me this uh, this morning slash afternoon, depending on where you are. I see a couple more Nepeta sacrifices. I'll get you all. I'll get you all before end of stream here. Um, but uh, anyway, thank you all for for tuning in and uh, for following along and having a good time and hanging out while I'm reading Problem Sleuth and just having my brain break and everything. A um, couple of reminders. Uh, I am streaming on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday evenings my time. I know for some of you, depending on where you are in the world, that might be like the middle of the night. So, you know, feel free to watch the VODs on YouTube. Uh, but I'm doing Final Fantasy 13 on Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern time if you're able to join live. And uh, 
Celeste on Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Central Time. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Sorry. Eastern Time. Not Central. Eastern Time. I live in New York, not Chicago anymore. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, but uh, my schedule is on my Twitch page, so check, so check it out there. Um, let me drop a couple links in here real quick. I've got social media. I've got my YouTube link. I've got Twitter. Uh, Tara, of course, has her own Instagram. And uh, we've also have, we also have Discord if you want to hang out with us in Discord as well. So uh, thank you all so much for tuning in for Problem Sleuth.